Well, these niggas don't went through great lifts and extents to motherfucking try to uh, clean up Fuquan name. Even went as far as putting on fake content, having a whole CO come up on their platform, St. Lives platform, named Ebron, have him lie and say that Fuquan was involved in a riot in C-74. Fuquan was stabbing everything up in the yard. When the police came, he went to go try to stab the captain and all that. He looked at the captain, he had that bang in the knife and all that. He said, you lucky it wasn't for Ebron. Your ass was done. I was like, what are you killing your ass? And then he just hopped over and went and stabbed the nigga like he a fucking real life gladiator. Boom! Setting it off. And when I get there, the inmates have slammed the door in my face. And they said, yo, E, you ain't coming in here. And I have to wait for backup to come. Because they was getting it on so bad in there. They didn't want me in the middle of that shit. And then when the squad finally come, they bust open the doors. So that's why I say it worked both ways. You know, the same person that you saved today, they can save you tomorrow. But people don't know, it worked both ways, man. It worked both ways. It's, it's shit that I seen that people can't even dream of seeing and experience what I've seen in that motherfucker. So it's not it's not easy just to forget shit. You can't forget shit. Boy, that, that, like, that's why when Fruquan was getting ready to kill that captain, your son, I can't even tell you what made me do what I did. Maybe because I knew Fruquan, that he wouldn't hurt me or, or try to stab me or something. But he, I did not want him to catch nobody. Cause I always seen him stab up about three or four niggas. He was gone. He was he was just running, stabbing, cutting, slashing, like he was a motherfucking maniac. And I seen him through the window before I got there. He was just like he in rapper room. You know, them niggas stomped the yard. He, he was gone. So when I went out there, it was chaos. When I tell you chaos, it was chaos. A regular nigga with that foot in the yard. You got captains standing outside the door. They motherfuckers ain't even going in there. They not even going in there. They watching through the fucking glass. Ran in that motherfucker. They did they, they act like they waiting for backup. Fuck that. You got motherfuckers out there. I run out there, son. Yo, they stabs and slashes. It look, it look like some kind of one of them, them cartoons I forgot. That's on them niggas be cutting and slashing and frying all in the air. Yo, it was like one of them. I forgot what them that little the little one, the little fight is. I can't remember their name, man, but that's what it was like. And yo, son, when I saw Fu Corn. And he zoomed in on that captain, man. Yo, I feel like I was in an army movie. I bugged the fuck out. Oh, no! In slow motion. And I can see Fuquan looking at me like he a motherfucking Tyrannosaurus. Oh, coming at it like he a maniac. And soon when he came over, he saw me dive over that captain. He looked at me, boy, like in disbelief. And he shook his head. And he said, he looked at the captain. He had that bang in the knife in the other hand. He said, you lucky it wasn't for Ebron. Your ass was done. I was like, why you kill your ass? And then he just hopped over and went and stabbed the nigga like he a fucking real life gladiator. Boom! I got the captain. I picked the captain up off the floor 
and I'm carrying him out for your son. It was like I was in the Gladiator movie, man. Them Hercules movies where them got the motherfuckers in that circle and they fighting and shit. That movie 300. Niggas don't know, son. Whew. Niggas don't know. You just can't. Shit like that can't just leave your mind. When you see a nigga just stand, slash and stand all in front of you. Blood up, blood, blood every fucking way. Nah, son. Word up. That's some real shit right there. Straight lie, straight fraud. A whole fucking fake content that St. Lies put together to try to revitalize Fuquan name. Because I exposed Fuquan as being a fucking rat. And they try to make it seem like Fuquan is about that life and really didn't put the separation on the girl's brother who he killed. The girls who he killed, that Fuq didn't really put a separation on her brother. Try to make it seem like Fuq was some old real big tough nigga. Everybody chanting and rooting, reposting the video to about, yeah, yeah, we like that, we different. Come to find out that whole fucking video interview that St. Lyle's posted was fucking false fucking content. Fuquan came out and did a video before that on that same topic letting us know exactly what happened. When Fuquan came out in a minute that he didn't even know that it was a, a ride going to be jumping off in the yard. He just got caught in the middle of that shit and didn't have nothing to do with that shit. Ain't cut and stab nobody. He didn't even know what was going on. So the captain just came out in the yard and just slapped the shit out of Fruit. And Fruit started fighting with the captain. He never said nothing about no knife. Nothing about he stabbed nobody. He said he was just fighting with the captain. The captain slapped the shit out of him, Fuquan. And he was just fighting with the captain. And Ebron came out and saved his life because Fruit didn't want when the riot squad came. Fruit said he didn't want the captain and the riot squad to handcuff him. Because he knew once they handcuffed him, they was going to beat the shit out of him. Which was correct. So he said he was not going to let them handcuff him. So Ebron saved his life and took him out without no handcuff. I was going through four building doing what I do. Everybody already know that. But the legend came about on a humble son. I'm going to be 100 with you. We was in the bank doing what we do. You know, being kids running around acting stupid. But we in the bank. So we go to the yard. While we in the yard, the homie born son, I just finished watching him on your joint right now. I just had to pause it so we can speak. The homie born son, he in the adults, he in one upper, we in the one man yard. So we the bang niggas, we yelling to the adults, asking them niggas send us down cigarettes, food, whatever the stupid shit we do in the new yard. But while we talking to them niggas, they got a front row seat to some action behind us. They like, yo, turn around. We turn around, niggas just shake it out in the yard. You know how that shit is, razor tag, niggas beefing on the gate, the bang, yo, go to the yard. They get to the yard, these niggas do what they do. Police hit the pen, the squad run out there. Now, when the squad come out there, mind you, these adult niggas is watching this shit out the window. So when the squad come out there, for some reason, these niggas heard me. Everybody on the wall, blah, 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 blah. So I'm thinking I could talk my way out of this shit because I know I don't have nothing to do with it. I'm thinking these niggas won't respect my name. They're going to give me some rap, let me slide. So when they search and niggas turn around, open your mouth for some crazy shit, when nigga, the captain, Chinese nigga named Captain Sang, he might have been about 140 pounds. This nigga tells me to turn around, I turn around, and when he says open my mouth, I went to speak instead of just open my mouth and let them do the cavity search. I went to speak and tell the nigga, yo, I don't got nothing to do with this shit. And the nigga, we was live at the Oscars, son. He must thought he was Will Smith, cause he straight slapped the shit out of me, man. Mm -hmm. I, yo, I, oh my God. This nigga slapped the shit out of me, man. And in a split second, I can hear the, the homie born son upstairs out the window say, put that motherfucking work in. Yo, I blacked out, son. Like, I blacked out. I beat this Chinese nigga all around that motherfucking yard, stomped that nigga face in, and the shit, when I blacked out, the police that was out there, they froze. They couldn't believe that shit. 
everybody froze. So I got a free ass whipping on this nigga because they was a prize. And I OD'd on this nigga. What saved me, it was a police and one lower, if I'm not mistaken, only out of Brownsville named Eborn. This nigga used to come to work, uniform on, under the uniform, he on the slick rick shit. My dad is size of dinner plate type shit, you know what I mean? He let niggas wear his jewels, take flicks, all types of shit. He was good people. He worked in one lower. He responded to one main yard and he stopped them niggas from jumping on me. Cause the first thing I told him is that I ain't putting on no motherfucking handcuffs. Them niggas not handcuffing me. So he was like, yo, I got them. And he walk him in. So them niggas walked me in, took me to the receiving room, stripped me out of my clothes, threw me a great jumpsuit, <laughs> took six pages, put, put, put a pair of handcuffs on me and sent me on my own fucking way, man. And that was pretty much the, the end of my motherfucking solo career and population. <laughs> I never saw a general population in C-74 again. That's how that shit went down. So this is how you know we talk about the same story. Because he's making the CO, the CO name uh, Ebron in the story. And the Ebron is the same CO that did the interview on St. Lodge platform the other day. Trying to clean up Fruit name. Put out this fake image like Fruit was getting busy like that. Like I told y'all before. I don't know if Fruit ever cut and stabbed anything in that four building. And that ain't the first fake content that St. Lodge put on his platform trying to uh, big up uh, 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 Fuquan name off some four shit. When Fuquan got up on St. Lodge chat platform, told about he stabbed his kid named K-9. Which that came out to be false. That Fuq never cut that nigga, K-9. Now, St. Lodge had another fake, uh, somebody cut another CO, Ebron come up on his platform, do another fake story, talk about how, like I said, Fuquan cut and stabbed and everything in the yard. He was a gladiator. When Fook said an interview prior to that, said he didn't even know there was going to be a riot in y'all. He didn't know nothing about that shit. He didn't have nothing to do with that. You see how these niggas be putting false content on their platform, St. Lives? When I told y'all niggas, 90% of that shit that be on St. Lives platform be false. St. Lives did the same shit with this fake fraud ass nigga Shadow. Put that nigga on his platform to have him try to lie on me. And I debunked that shit in black and white, showing that Shadow was lying. And this nigga St. Lies still ain't take that motherfucking video down. Just like he ain't gonna take the Ebron video down, blatantly fucking lying for Fuquan. When he got a video prior to that with Fuquan telling y'all what happened. But clearly showed none of that shit that Ebron said was true, that Fuquan did. And these are the kind of niggas that y'all niggas be supporting. Niggas that put false content on their platform. How do you support a nigga like that? But I've been told y'all niggas that 90% of that shit that be on St. Lodge's platform was fraud. Because he put niggas up there lying on me. And I told y'all, told y'all, anything I be telling y'all niggas, that shit be coming true, man. That shit just keep proving itself time after time and time again, man. When are you niggas going to stop supporting these frauds? Then you got these other Fugazi nigga. They was having a celebration party after that shit. Like as if they finally proved Fruit was a real nigga. We got a CEO that came up here and said he cut and he stabbed this. He was going to stab a captain. All these niggas posting shit on their page and we posting it. Like, yeah. That shit was false. Fruit came out before that. Y'all must have forgot about that interview. Or thought I didn't know about it. Fruit came out before that saying none of that shit that that captain shit happened. He didn't even know what the fuck was even going on in the yard. He got hurt. He ain't never cut or stab nothing in that yard. And like I told y'all before, I don't ever know of any instance where food ever cut or stab anything in the four building. Boy is a fucking bird. And another thing, Fook, Shushan didn't even fuck with you like that, Fuquan. So I don't know why you keep riding niggas' dicks. Every time somebody die, you start mixing the niggas' names like you was cool with these niggas, like you knew these niggas. Nigga, you don't even nick your son. Shushan didn't even fuck with Fruit like that. Why you think you could never get Fruit uh Shushan on your platform, uh Fuquan, huh? Cause he didn't fuck with you like that. And especially once I came out and exposed you as being a rat, he definitely didn't fuck with you after that. Him and any other motherfucking real niggas that you was trying to get up on your platform that never came on your platform. Niggas don't fuck with you like that. And like you said, that's why even your old man from your projects flipped on you, nigga. 
Because they know you's a rat. Just like Shoeshine knew you was a fucking rat. Any other real nigga know that. So stop mixing that man name like as if you was, he was fucking with you like that. You fucking fraud. Everything about you is a fucking fraud. Fuquan. And you definitely on the right channel. Say it live. Because both of you niggas some two fraudulent ass niggas. You heard? Talk about niggas ain't built like y'all. Built like y'all what? St. Lines is a PC nigga. That been in PC two fucking times. So you ain't never been solid, nigga. You was a PC ass nigga on the island. You was a punk up north. And you talk about niggas ain't built like y'all. And you, fool, was a bitch. Put separations in on niggas so that you couldn't fall in the same jails with them. The girl's brother who you killed. It's a fucking bird, man. You's a bird. Like I said, but now y'all niggas here and see it now. This nigga St. Live been putting fraud shit on his platform, man. This is what y'all rallying behind, nigga. You heard? Going against real niggas for frauds like that. All you niggas that line up with fucking St. Lies from this point on, nigga. Need to just be all lined up and executed, nigga. Because y'all niggas is birds. So you can't come with this shit by he got the realest platform on YouTube. He's the hood therapist. No, he's a fucking fraud. He puts fake content on his platform. And I just showed y'all the whole fake video that he put together to try to big up Fuquan there and clean up his name after I exposed Fu for being a fucking rat and a fucking bird. I just showed you that whole content was false. It never happened. Fraudulent. You heard? You do it. I don't know when you do it. You're going to wake up and learn, man. Straight up.